Hello Sagittarius, I hope you're well and today's reading will be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. Communication is causing someone to feel very stuck, frustrated, there's a lack of clarity. So I don't see much progress or forward movement here and that is causing someone a lot of stress, right? Eight of Swords. How this person will be viewing you, we have Page of Pentacles, Seven of Cups in reverse. They don't see you putting in the work. They don't see you offering anything. You're not putting in the time energy. So let's clarify. I do need more clarity. This is one of the more confusing readings, Sagittarius, but some of you I feel I'm picking up on two energies, which is why it's confusing. But we'll try to work our way through this. Three of Swords, some of you it can be. Yeah, there's separation here. And someone's not being the most vulnerable. Things are stagnant here. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so I see this person seeing you as someone who's not moving forward with them. Why is Seven of Cups in reverse for how this person is? They feel that you don't consider them an option any longer. You don't see any potential here with this person. And you're coming through as emotionally closed off. Queen of Cups in reverse. You're drained. You're giving up is how they're seeing you. And they are perceiving you correctly because I do have the Queen of Cups in reverse in your feelings. How they'll be feeling about you, we have Knight of Cups, Moon in reverse, emotionally unavailable is what I'm seeing in their energy. Why is Knight of Cups in reverse here? For how this person will be. Some of you, there's distance here, Page of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> This person's very emotionally manipulative. They're not to be trusted. Some of you, this person's a liar. They're not honest, is what I'm seeing. And they were giving to more than one energy. They were keeping their options open. Six of Pentacles, they may have been breadcrumbing you, wasting your time. Yeah, Magician again. Can be someone who promises more than they can deliver, misleading the other. Why is Moon in reverse here? Let's get one for that energy. Three of Swords, Nine of Swords. So there is a level of anxiety, guilt, if this person's done you wrong. But if I look at your outcome and this, per this person is known to be deceptive, a liar, they still are. So I don't see much changes in their behavior if you resonate with that storyline. Their intentions towards you, we have High Priestess, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, to hold back. Um, they have some secrets here. They're acting very secretive. And their intentions is not to commit. They're non-committal, but they watch you, especially if they're at a distance and they have access to your social media. That is how they keep an eye on you because I was seeing the Page of Swords and Eight of Wands wanting to come through. Someone who's wanting to open up to you. They're wanting to confess something to you. But I'm not sure. I get a weird feeling from this person. So I do see communication. And some of you, there is, we have two queens here. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Which is why some of you, this could have been a secret affair, right? Yeah, this person doesn't have your best interest at heart. Um, so if they come towards you, be very careful, especially if they're already involved. They're bringing drama, they're bringing conflict your way. What action they'll be taking towards you? This is where I'm confused. We have four of pentacles, three of swords. That tells me there's distance, there's separation between the both of you. There's heartbreak and this person's holding back. Right? And their intentions, they're being secretive for how they're acting for of pentacles. It's a closed off energy. If I look at their feelings, they're emotionally unavailable. But paired next to that, we have Page of Cups, Three of Wands, The Magician. I can interpret this in two ways. Some of you, you're leaving someone from your past. In the past, you're moving forward. You're keeping your options open. You have a message coming in from afar. Uh, it can be online dating, right? social media online with magician which is gemini and there's an expression of love someone's wanting to confess something to you so there's two people one's closed off and one is wanting to be more vulnerable 
And those of you that it's the same energy, yeah, this person has something they want to express to you. It's a very small offer. It's immature. So you can expect communication from this person. I definitely see that. But tread carefully. Because I see them coming in and then closing off again. So it may be a hot and cold energy they're bringing towards you. And I think a lot of you know that. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius who had the star card wanting to come through. How you're feeling, we have Queen of Cups, Ten of Wands in reverse. You're feeling emotionally closed off. So if this person's not being open to you, you're also not giving to this person. And some of you felt it was one-sided, it was unrequited. It's a burden. So they were perceiving you correctly, right? You're exhausted and you're giving up. That is exactly what I see you doing. There may be some moodiness when you think about this person. Why is Queen of Cups in reverse here? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you're focused on your stability. Some of you, if you're already committed, perhaps that is your focus. But I have a lot of reference to your 10th house career. So that may be your focus here. A very favorable period for you if you are dating. Yeah, you may be manifesting abundance, a successful relationship. You may be dating getting to know other people seven of pentacles i think um outside of this connection you're doing well you're stable but when it comes to this person it throws you off emotionally right yeah a fool is wanting to come through i think you're ready for a new beginning a fresh slate away from the situation you don't want to carry burdens that aren't yours right this person was bringing a lot of conflict your way so those of you that will be hearing back or you're hearing from them might be i tread carefully because they still keep a lot hidden right there's secrets here for your outcome we have king of swords ace of cups in reverse it's unrequited love here a whether on your end or this person's you're both coming through as emotionally unavailable here in your outcome so I don't see you investing and I see if the communication may pick up, but then it'll um, stop again is what I'm seeing. So this person won't be reliable or consistent with you, Sagittarius. In their outcome, we have Knight of Swords, Universe, Three of Pentacles. Some of you may work with this person, your co-workers, and you have to see them. But the reason they're not coming towards you or communicating is either because of a job situation, their work, or there's another person. Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles. But I see blockages in your is communication for your outcome. And that is how we started off the reading, right? Clarify the Knight of Swords in reverse for this person on Sagittarius mind. Some of you, this person's looking for a new love. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Be careful of pregnancy. If you're not wanting to get pregnant, I was getting that here as well. Yeah, this person's missing an opportunity with you and they're trying to pursue someone else, a new love interest. They're keeping their options open. And for you of you, it is a general reading. You may have rejected them with the King of Swords universe in your energy. So you detaching yourself has this person feeling rejected, which is why they're not reaching out, right? Clarify the Three of Pentacles. Some of you, this was this person was only bringing sex your way. They're coming through as very secretive and emotionally unavailable, which led to you feeling backstabbed or there was a painful ending here. So be careful because they're only bringing passion your way. So some of you, that communication or confession energy I was getting, it can be that, you know, when they want something from you, they may reach out. Your advice, we have King of Pentacles, Two of Swords. 
Your guides are wanting you to focus on your business, your career, your school, if you are in studying something, but they want you to focus on your goals. Do you see how she has the dart? She has a goal in mind, and this has to do with your second house, 10th house, your day-to-day. -day. But King of Pentacles is the energy they want you to embody, and that is our businessman, businesswoman. So it's not... It's almost they're saying that they don't want you to focus on love right now. They want you to focus on your finances. Is Yeah, work wanting to come through. Focused on work, working hard and long hours, love at work. Those of you resonate with that. Um, works, workplace romance. We have a risk here. Yeah, we are ending with the Ace of Wands. We have passion. Lustful desires, sexual chemistry, craving you. But we also have love bombing, emotional manipulation. I was telling you, this person is very deceptive. We have Casanova, ladies' man, wanting your attention. Be very weary when this person messages you. Page of Cups, they're being very sweet. But they're not bringing stability your way. Their intentions is not to commit with Queen of Pentacles in reverse. It's more lustful energy. Some of you, we have dry spell here. So yeah, they may reach out. I was saying when they want something from you, definitely see that. Your advice, yum. We have the sexual chemistry is so powerful. Yeah, we see that. Ace of Wands, passion. That they awaken the romantic and the animal inside of you. It can be dangerous if not handled with care. And we have let off steam. Be conscious not to hold in any stress, anger, or anxieties. Reconnect with your spirit and let it all out. So Queen of Cups in reverse can be a very repressed energy. So they're not wanting, to, wanting you to hold in any negative emotions. Um, let off steam in whatever way you can. It can be moving your body, working out, um, going outside. Whatever helps you release, right? Taking a bath. But maybe, I'm, I think I want one more advice card for you. Was this person wanting a fling? I don't. Look at that, answer the call and back together. This person will be sending you a message, but we also have cold peace. What exactly do you love about them? If they're treating you in a way that feels disrespectful, ask yourself what part of you allows this behavior to continue. Yes, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.